Hi everyone, uh, my name is Agata and on this channel we are going to talk all about hair loss and some hair science. Um, since this is something I know a lot about, unfortunately from my own experience, uh, I think it is time that I actually sit down uh, and talk about it on camera because I wish I had that someone to watch and listen to while I needed this information the most. So when you currently battle hair loss and think it's impossible to get your normal healthy hair back, uh, then please know that I was thinking exactly the same thing. I was equally hopeless and depressed, but luckily I was also desperate and determined enough to find answer, uh, answers and help myself and hopefully now be able to help you as well. Uh, maybe you won't be able to tell by looking at me right now uh, that I am actually battling balding and severe hair loss for about 12 years now. Uh, I have five conditions. So I have Hashimoto's, hypothyroidism, PCOS, insulin resistance uh, and androgenetic alopecia as a result of those and seborrheic dermatitis. Each one of these alone can cause severe hair loss and I have all of them at once. Um, what you can see on my head right now is actually a result of 12 year long process of trial and error, endless research, diagnosis, blood tests, medical examinations, medications, pills, treatments and everything under the sun that I have tried in order to get my hair to a stage when it is really not that bad and if you didn't know you wouldn't probably be able to tell that I have any issues. So let me tell you a little bit of my story from the beginning in a nutshell. So when I was 18 or so, that would be 12 years ago, I noticed my hair falling out a lot. At first I thought it might be due to stress or some deficiencies because I have just moved into the country to study and I was under a lot of pressure studying in university so I changed my diet because the place I lived in didn't really have particularly healthy food either so I was blaming that on stress and eating habits. Uh, I tried to supplement, change my diet, uh, give it some time and try to stress less but the hair loss was progressing so rapidly and that I was terrified at that point. Uh, on the first occasion when I was able to go home, I went to a doctor and they diagnosed Hashimoto's with hypothyroidism. Bear in mind that my lab tests in, <laughs> were uh, in the normal range by then, so I was given medication and told that hair loss would eventually stop. Well, it didn't and when I asked my endocrinologist what's going on and what else should I do to make it stop, he said that I should cut my hair short because it will never stop falling out and women with this condition should wear their hair in pixie cuts because it will all fall out anyway, so what's the point of keeping it long? So 18 year old me went home and bawled her eyes out, that really happened. Uh, I then went to a dermatologist who gave me minoxidil, which obviously didn't help either. By the way, the biggest damage to my hair and scalp was done by dermatologists, but we are going to talk about it another time. So at that point I knew that I am completely on my own and I need to figure out what is wrong by myself. I don't encourage anyone to disregard what your doctors are saying. Uh, in fact, I'd say the opposite. Go to as many as you can and get as much advice and feedback as you can. Uh, my problem was that I really had hard time navigating through all that information. I felt lost, didn't know where to look for information, didn't know how to interpret it and didn't know whether the information I find is reliable or it's just a gimmick. So I believe in self-education, awareness and a smart approach to solving an issue. I believe it is very important that you go to the doctor prepared, like you are an equal conversation partner, that you ask the right questions and help your doctor understand better what is going on. Because yes, they have all the med medical knowledge you don't have, but you know yourself better than anyone. Uh, and that knowledge is equally important. That's what I decided to do. I wanted to become a smarter patient, so my visits to the doctor are more productive, I get better treatment, and if needed, I know what to reach for in terms of home remedies to help myself even better. 
That took me a couple of years, but I finally got a hang of it. Uh, and more hair was growing out than falling out, so my head reached some kind of positive balance. Uh, for a while uh, and then it all started happening again my hair loss got out of control and this time it was unlike anything before because it was way worse for the first time in my life I could see scalp through my hair uh, in some places and uh, that is when I found out I also have PCOS and insulin resistance that basically meant uh, that I had developed androgenetic alopecia so I started another round of educating myself, researching, trying out different things and this time around I decided that I'm gonna go full on and I'm going to do a trichology training. Hair loss is such a complicated thing that one area of medicine cannot simply cover all possible causes and solutions. You need to gain a very holistic medical and scientific knowledge, very specific, to be able to understand what's going on in your body. So I figured, hey, I have to manage five conditions to keep my hair on my head, so I might just as well do actual studies on the bloody thing, right? So that's what I did. I became a certified trichologist. Firstly, just to be able to help myself and understand how things work. And when I noticed that people are reaching out to me for advice uh, and that that advice helps them, and then I thought, well, uh, I guess I could be pretty good at this, you know. Uh, I will let everyone know what I know and maybe it will help somebody else as well. I really know how hard it is to deal with it. I know how hard it is to remain confident, trying and failing all the time, not knowing or understanding what's wrong with you. I know how desperate a person gets and how easy it is to feel helpless and break down. You know, I really throughout all these years could not find a channel or a person who could help me learn that and understand all of it. So here it is, uh, this is the place. Uh, I am going to teach you all you need to know about how you can combat your hair loss because I know by now that vast majority of alopecia cases are reversible. Uh, this is going to be a fun place, um, teaching you scientific facts about hair loss and hair science in general. You will not find here a magic recipe for a treatment with garlic and olive oil that makes your hair grow 10 times faster just because you rub it in with your head upside down. None of that, we are going to debunk some myths for sure, but other than that, we are going to go about it in a scientific, medical and easiest way so you can have confidence and understanding that no matter how bad it is right now and how hopeless you feel, we will get your hair back together. I promise you that you will have your old hair back. Uh, I do, you can too. Alright, see you in my next video.